Welcome back. Last week I was on the phone with my friend and he was literally crying. He failed his job interview at Google after the process that took six months. It was his dream to get there, but he didn't pass the bar. And you don't want to be in a situation like this. And that's why it's important to put effort into interview preparation. For that, I've created a guide to mobile systems design interview concepts. So, the systems design interview is very different from the coding interview. First of all, you're not expected to code on it, but you need to explain how to glue an entire system together. Second, in a coding interview, the result is usually just pass or not pass, but for a systems design interview, it is gradient. So, this type of interview determines the level that you get in your job offer. And third, there is no one good answer but a handful of good answers in this interview. Okay, so what's the goal of the interview? The main goal is to understand what level of technical leadership you have. Systems design interview is about how good you are at breaking big problems into small, coherent problems. Or just taking a big problem and making sense of what you're doing. The most common form of the interview, you're presented with a big, fuzzy problem with few details and specific constraints. And you need to show your skill and experience in a few areas. First is organization and navigation of the problem. How are you asking questions to reduce ambiguity, uh, navigating the problem space and prioritizing the most important parts of the problem? Second is your ability to actually provide a working solution for the problem. Third, technical communication. You need to explain your technical ideas and vision. Communicate reasoning in a logical and structured way. And fourth is technical excellence. It means being able to dive deeply into technical details when necessary. Articulate trade-offs for different parts of the solution. It could be a choice of a database or an architecture decision. All right, let's talk about how to approach the problem on a real interview. The interviewer will never give you enough information to solve the problem. At least initially, you need to interrogate him for details. So please ask clarifying questions. A good example here would be to ask how many users will be using this app at the same time or do we need to support an offline mode. Step 2. Make a plan. Just write down the list of all things you need to address to solve the problem. It could be API, high-level component architecture, database, caching, ATC. Also, it would be valuable to talk about priorities. Which things in your plan are the most important and in what order are you going to solve them? Step 3. Just dive deep into everything in your plan step by step. And always listen to what the interviewer says because he could be giving you a signal to turn to a different direction. Okay, let's talk about mobile specifics now. Obviously, it would be more important for you to focus on the mobile side of things and less on the backend implementation. In most cases, as a mobile engineer, you don't need to explain things like load balancing, server configuration, or that database sharding. But there are a lot of mobile specific problems that you need to address. Let's go over them. You need to remember that on a mobile phone, we have limited resources internet traffic, battery usage, and memory. Usually, it means that you need to organize your solution to reduce the usage of these resources. It's important to know how to organize the architecture of your solution on a high level. So, you should learn how to use MVC, MVP, MVVM, and Viper architectures. Also, please be familiar with three-layer architecture and service-oriented architecture. You need to know the pros and cons of choosing any of them because on a real interview you would need to explain your choice. Additionally, you should learn common design patterns that are used in mobile applications. I would highlight here dependency injection, observer, factory, builder. I understand that there are tons of different design patterns. Just try to prioritize those that are mostly used on iOS and Android. If you have any questions, please feel free to pause the video here and ask questions in the comment section. I would be really happy to answer them. Another important area that you should be familiar with is UI architecture. 
you are expected to know how to organize a complex application UI, components usage, how to wire them up, and how to do data updates. A common question here would be how to show on screen an extremely big amount of data. On iOS, it would lead to a discussion about table views, collection views, and their performance optimizations. Building the app is not the only thing that you need to do on the interview. Most of the time, you would need to talk about how to pull the data from the backend. The most frequently used technologies are REST API, web sockets, server sent events, long polling, and push notifications. You need to know how to use them and what is the most appropriate technology to solve your problem. Or it could be a combination of technologies. Coming back to the application itself. Usually, you would need to implement some sort of caching system. So, you need to know how to store data in the app. It could be SQLite or frameworks like Core Data on iOS, Realm or ORM Lite on Android. Also, you could write to a disk or use encrypted storages like Keychain or Credentials API. I understand that there could be too many technologies to learn, but you don't need to learn all of them in a perfection. You could learn at least one option and the pros and cons of others. Last but not least, be ready to talk about app specifics. How to do screen navigation, gestures, and how to build a responsive UI. An interviewer could be potentially asking questions here. All right, that was a lot. I want to give you a last tip before you go. On a system design interview, you're expected to have a product sense. It means to understand the problem and what user experiences are acceptable. You should have your own vision of the app, UI, and its features. And on top of that, you can build your architecture to address the user's needs. For example, you don't need to wait for an interviewer to tell you that a full refresh element is needed for a news feed. You should know from your experience that this element is common in this kind of scenario. Okay, guys, I hope it was useful for you. Good luck with your interviews. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section. I would be happy to help you. Also, it would be appreciated if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It helps me a lot to promote the channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.